uh, speeches from their selected paths. <clears throat> Our first speaker is, this afternoon is Bev Ward. This year, she is club treasurer, vice president, and vice president of public relations. As a member of the club for 30 years, she knows that the lifeblood of a club is, is its members, and we love having new members for all that they can contribute to the excitement of the club. She also knows that our members are the best advertisement for the club and that the word of mouth from our current members is the best way to get new members to join. Her speech today is, is uh, the first speech from Evaluation and Feedback, a level one project in her presentation, Mastery Path. She's, she is to use feedback from the speech in her next speech. She asks that you follow along in your handout and think how you can apply what she's, she will be telling, telling you about. Um, and Bev has asked for the timer to please give the green light at five minutes, the yellow light at six minutes, and the red at seven. Please welcome Bev with a speech entitled Selling the Sizzle. Thank you very much, Marty. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, you may have heard of the sales advice to sell the sizzle. That means to sell the exciting parts of your product. Sorry, I just have to uh, fix my screen. There we go. That means to excel the exciting parts of your product. In Toastmasters, we have something called the elevator speech. The elevator speech, it reflects the time it takes to, for an elevator to go between floors and the short amount of time you would have to sell the sizzle of Toastmasters to potential guests and to new members or potential new members. Today, I'm going to help you to develop your own elevator speech. If you're a new member or if you're a guest, I'd like you to think about the things that you would like to know about Toastmasters or you think that other people would like to know so that you can share your Toastmasters experience. I invite you to follow along with the handout that Marty talked about and have a pen ready to do a little bit of work. First of all, like any good speech or presentation, we have to be prepared. And what you need to do is to think about who you are going to be talking to so that you can prepare your elevator speech with that person in mind. So you'll be personalizing the information you give out. You want to make sure that you put the most important information at the beginning in case you run out of time. You need to keep it simple. Nobody needs to hear the 10 minute version about Toastmasters in our history. All they need to know is that Toastmasters teaches public speaking and leadership. Six words, that's all you need to say right now about Toastmasters to them. You need to anticipate any questions that they might have so you can have an answer in your back pocket, not necessarily included in the body of your speech. And you need to practice and rehearse and practice and rehearse. Because to that person, you are the face of Toastmasters. So you need to be enthusiastic. You need to be confident. You need to be knowledgeable. And you need to impress them with what a good speaker you have become because of the Toastmasters program. If you have a little story or a testimony you could tell them, something along the lines of, we've heard Diane tell us that Toastmasters gave her confidence that she's used in helping build her business. So a sentence or two that you may have about your Toastmasters success would be helpful here. Then it's time to close the sale. Now you'll have two opportunities to close the sale. Right now, you'll be closing the sale by having them come to a meeting as a guest. So don't just say, well, you could come to a meeting sometime. Say, I would like you to be my guest at our next meeting on Monday, January the 30th. You've set a goal there and you've given them something that you want them to do. And you can answer any hesitations about where the meeting is or do they have time and, and let them know that they can walk to the meeting or, or come via Zoom. The next thing you want to do in closing the sale for the second time is after they've come as a guest, ask them what one thing is that they saw at the meeting that will help them with whatever the needs that they have are. That way they are telling you what the benefits of Toastmasters are for them. And you can build on that 
to help you close the sale by having them become a new member. At the bottom of page one of your handout, there's an opportunity for you to write down who it is you think you might like to talk to and what you want to talk to them about. Not specific, simply like, do you want to talk to them about extra confidence, about preparing for leadership, about doing interviews successfully, that kind of stuff. And I have um, it on good authority that our Table Topics Master today is probably going to be asking our speakers something about their Toastmasters experience as, as they are talking about it in their elevator speech. So you'll see on page two of your handouts that there's a whole lot of opportunities to put in your elevator speech. Now, you're not going to want to tell all of these things to the person that you're talking to. But pick out one or two things that you think personalizes your speech for them. So I'd just like you to take a moment now and circle a couple of things or jot down a couple of things in that list that you think would be important to the guest that you're talking to or the potential guest. Okay, so now you've got a couple of points to talk about in your elevator speech. The next thing you want to know is let them know how they're going to get those benefits, how they're going to require them. So talk to them about what happens at a meeting, but only, only tell them you things that are, you think are important. If they say, I want to be better answering questions that are surprising to me in a meeting, tell them we practice impromptu speaking at every meeting. If you want to let them know how the program works, tell them it's a formal online program. Tell them they'll have an orientation. Let them know that they'll have their own mentor. So set their mind at ease so that everything is organized and they'll be getting help. But most of all, you might want to also tell them what makes Wild Oats so special. Let them know that it's a great club. Let them know that we have fun. We give helpful evaluations. Again, whatever it is you think will appeal to your perceived needs and your known needs about the people that you want to invite as guests. Some other questions that people might want to know or the information you might, might want to give them is, yes, they can come to any meeting they want as a guest. It doesn't cost anything to come. And you'd be happy to, to take them to the meeting or to guide them through getting onto Zoom because every member can share the Zoom link with anybody that, that they want to invite. Let them know that if they want to be a member, you'll put them in touch with the vice president of membership who will walk them through that process. Some people might want to do a bit of research on their own. I've given you the links to our social media sites so that you can share that with people and they can have a, a browse around and see what happens. I've also given you some links that you can use to get some more information yourself about Toastmasters. And the one that says why Toastmasters, have a look at it and see it is appropriate to share with guests if you think your guests would benefit from that. So now you should have the beginnings of a, an elevator speech of your very own. You've planned out who you're going to talk to. You've prepared the backbone of that particular speech. You're getting ready to practice it and find out who you're going to give it to. And then you know how to follow up and close the sale. So I'm looking forward to hearing about your successes as you sell the sizzle of Toastmasters and see the guests that you're able to bring to our meetings and see how new Toastmasters are going to gain the benefits of our club. Mr. Toastmasters.